Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be reviewing another product that a company has sent me. So you guys would have seen this company send me a lot of battery testers and so on and so on from the same company and the company is Top Don. And today we're reviewing this new device that they've sent me, which is the Smart Diag Mini. Now this is the first of many we're gonna be reviewing. I've got other companies sending me them as well. But Top Dom is a company I work with fully and they always send me the latest products. I want to give a big shout out to Daisy for sending this one out to me. Um, she's been working with me a long time since, you know, we've actually started this channel and they've sent me products all the time. And I'm therefore gonna be reviewing a device for them. They have, however, unlocked all functions for me to use on the car for this video. So again, thank you to them for doing that. So we're not gonna talk anymore we're gonna go out to the car and I'm gonna be reviewing the device. As always, the device will be linked in the description below. I'll even pin it to the comments for you guys to go and buy it. It is not expensive and I believe it's gonna be a good device. These guys actually really make good devices. Their battery testers are flawless and the other device, which I can't remember what it was, they sent me, works flawlessly as well. So no more talking, let's get onto it and show you how this device works. Let me tell you about the life of a trap boy really out here trying to kill it. Trapping bricks on the floor like pigeons, trying to stay low like a midget. I'm really not kidding. OT trips and stinky kicks and my balls are itching. I hit up the petrol station and fill it. And I ain't stopping until this pack is finished. Let's go, let's go. Too many calls I've missed. Okay, guys, as you'll see here, this is the device. This is the Smart Diag Mini by Top Dom. Now, as you'll see there, there's a serial number on the device itself, which you need to register to be able to use the device. Um, this is the way companies are doing it now. Not only that is if they want to give you freebies, they use your serial number to send to the app. So it connects the device to download whatever manufacturers you have on your device. So it can't be forgotten, they can't be erased. If you see on the back there, it tells you all the information that you're going to need and it does an all systems diagnosis. 15 maintenance services, two in one combination of app and adapter. A lot of companies are going this way now. So they're doing mobile dongles like that with serial numbers. I've seen a lot of them using one app and a lot of them do different things to the other, but it's all similar apps. And they're all doing things like this now. This is the way diagnostics are going now to mobile adapters with an inbuilt app that can do everything like dealer ones, i.e. programming and coding. And this is the way forward in the future for diagnostics. So when we open it up here, we're just gonna open it up and we're just gonna get it out. And as you'll see, you've just got the tab here that you just pull straight out. And if you'll see there, that's the diagnostic adapter. Inside, you're gonna get the book. And if you look closely here, you'll have a serial number and an activation code, which on the app you have to give to register the dongle now i've already done all that so it's ready to go so we don't long this video off you're going to want to locate your obd port on the car and plug this in then what we're going to do is start scanning the car now you must make sure you register this it will ask you when you get your dongle to look for this and it will be inside the box so if you don't know where to locate it that's where it will be so we're going to go ahead and plug that in now to the car so we can then start scanning this car so we'll just get the dongle and if you see there it's got the um, name written all over it this very tiny dongle but we'll see how it works and as you see there's got a connectivity one an interference one so if it gets any issues you've got that light there and also the power one so we're just going to plug this in so as you see here guys this is a smart diag mini app now i've already got an account and as you see there's top dom joint equipment inspection you will see here you've got the marketplace where you can download all the manufacturers you need. They've got every single manufacturer there from BMW, Audi, Mercedes, every manufacturer in the world, whatever car you've got, they will support it. So it's all there. You've also got all the maintenance software. So as you see, they unlocked everything for me and it's still downloading, but we're not gonna need any of these. They've got the DPF, the EGR reset, the gearbox, TPMS, sunroof, brakes, oil, injectors, AFS, ETS, IMMO, because sometimes you, you can redo the keys with this as well. Um, so it has got a lot of good features. You've also got here all the diagnostics and obviously your maintenance functions, 
which we're not going to be using a maintenance function today because I have no need to. So the first thing we're going to do is go into cart or system diagnostics. And as you'll see here, it's got all your makes here. Next thing you're going to click is BMW. Then if you'll see there, it will connect to the Bluetooth device itself and it will query the latest firmware version. So make sure it's all, all on the latest firmware before it goes ahead. And then it will connect to the dongle and start the app up. It now loads up. You can hear the dongle beeping away and you'll see that it's going to do its thing. So there you go, saying diagnosis is starting. Now we're going to do automatically search as you'll see right here and it should find the vehicle. Now we are using the X5 for this. So we're using the E53 X5, so it should come up a three litre diesel. So it'll just communicate with the car while it does that. And as you'll see there, there's the VIN of the car. It's E53 X5 three litre diesel with the M57 engine. So we're just gonna click next. And as you see there, you've now got a health report or a system scan. So we're gonna click health report. And as you see there, it's now gonna scan all the modules on the car. Now do bear in mind, this is older than the E60s and E90, so this can take a long time to scan compared to the other cars. So we're showing we've got one fault in the DME, which that's for the blanked EGR valve. But we're gonna scan everything else, which can take a bit of time, which should come back clear because the car doesn't have any problems. So it should come back completely clear with any, no issues. So as you see there, it's just doing a scan. And as you see, it does scan all the modules. And the good thing is I'd rather it take his time than rush and tell me everything's perfect when it's not. So by doing this, as you see there at the top, it's got a vehicle where it's just scanning through. So it will run all its checks on the car and make sure everything in the car is fine. It, by the looks of things, it can pick up all modules inside the car. And you gotta think for the price of this, which is only $40, I believe, that's the price you're gonna to pay to go to a garage just to run diagnostics. And when you think of the price of this, compared to that, it is worth it to buy this dongle for the fact that it can do this and you don't have to go to a garage to pay. And you can pay based on your manufacturer. You don't have to buy them all. You can pay based on whatever manufacturer you actually have. So if you've got a BMW, you pay for BMW. If you've got a Chevy, you pay for a Chevy. If you've got a Vauxhall, you pay for a Vauxhall. If you've got a Ford, you pay for Ford. Or if you do all cars and you're a mobile mechanic or so on, you can buy them all. It's still gonna be cheaper than buying a more expensive diagnostics machine. Some cars move quicker than others on the diagnostics, but this is slow because it's old. So as you see here, we've got a few faults, which we're gonna check in a minute. And they should show what faults they are. But as you see there, it is taking its time to scan. Dependent on how many modules you've got in the car, it can take quite a while to scan the car. Now, with all these devices that I get, I usually give them to my family members because I have no need for this many diagnostics tools that I get sent. Um, but I do use them, see how I get on with them before I do these reviews. One, to test them out. Two, to make sure they meet everything that I want them to meet or I'll message the company beforehand and tell them so they can correct it for you guys before you even purchase it. So as you see there, we've now got the um, diagnosis report back. And if you see here, we'll find the fault code. So we'll just click on it and it identifies the ECU. Now what we can do is read the fault code. And as you see there, EGR, which I told you it was that anyway, because I blanked it, but it doesn't throw an engine management light on these. We'll read the fault code here as well. Let's see what that one is. Electronic braking force distribution which we don't have electronic brakes on this. Then we'll go into the Zeki, the central body electronics. and see what this one is now. Interior lights. And that was because I changed them to LED. Then we've got light switching cluster. Again, that's probably gonna be because I've got LEDs in here. Everything to do with the lights. read it again so you see here it's also the side lights they were from previously uh, the side lights went out so I never deleted the codes most of the codes in here are all old then we got one for the park key and one for the CD changer we'll just show that one on the CD changer as well we've got their fault mechanism eject fault read top dead 
center. So we'll just clear all the DTCs out of here. And as you see there, it can clear quite quickly. So you're seeing there right now, we're clearing all the fault codes on the car. The only one that won't delete is the EGR one because it's uh, vacuum operated. So now that's all cleared. Now we've got a clear one. So as you see there, we can do a full scan of the car. We can go back and go back again. We'll see if we can use any of the other functions. So we'll go to the maintenance functions. We'll do the oil and see if we can use the oil on this. See if we can reset it. Let's just load in. We'll see if we can reset the oil. If we can't, this car is quite old. We might not be able to use all the functions as intended because this car is an E53. Bearing in mind, it's, this is all for all new cars that are fitted with all these systems. So if it don't work, um, I won't be able to do the full review of the, obviously the products, but you guys get a drift of what it can do. If you guys are interested in it, you can go and purchase it. You can see what it does here. You know what it does. It can do all your stuff. If you're looking for anything that this device can do, it will be able to do on your car. The only reason I ain't doing it on this is because like I said, this car is a bit old, so it won't support any of these functions. But you do see here, it's got a lot of different functions. And as I said, it does support all the different manufacturers um, around the world. You've got all American, European, Asian. So it supports every single manufacturer there is. Um, I would say out of, out of this device, because of what I've used, I would give this a six out of 10. For your normal diagnostics, this device will do if you're just looking to do diagnostics and it's cheap for what it is. It's 50 pound for the scanner and it can do your basic diagnostics and you can pick what it can do. Now, different manufacturers are gonna give you different options and therefore it might be different on your manufacturer to what it is on this car. It has got a lot of different options here and like I showed you before, you know, this is all for new cars, majority of the maintenance functions and therefore it can't be used on my E53 and it probably couldn't be used on the E60 either. But it is a good scanner and if you guys want to buy it just to do your normal reading and code clearing, then albeit. But as I said, I have used better. Um, I will be letting them know that obviously it's not as good as I thought it would be. There isn't much you can actually do in the app itself for the price of it. And I do believe they could actually add more functions and maybe there will be more functions later on. But I just don't believe um, it's worth any more than what it is. So the price they've got it for is fair enough. Um, they do give you, I believe, when I got the device, it had free software is free. So you do get, when you buy the device here, you will get five softwares free with it when you first register with the app as well. So you don't have to pay straight away. So when you pay the 50 pound for the adapter, you can then come into the market and pick what manufacturers you want. Um, so I picked the manufacturers I was gonna need and then they unlocked them all for me for the whole year. So I've got every different manufacturer on this device. Like I said, there's not enough on it for me. And as you see there, it does tell you what it is. So that's the AFS reset, electronic throttle, injectors, immobilizer, reset brakes, reset oil, reset SAS, reset bleed the ABS system, reset the BMS, reset the gearbox, reset DPF, reset EGR, reset sunroof, reset TPMS, or on reset SUS, sorry, not the sunroof, and that's the sunroof one there. So you see it's got all the functions there that you'd probably need. Um, they may be adding more features. It is still new. Um, they've only just bring it out, but who knows what to do. Like I say, for diagnostics, it works good. You've seen it just work. It does find all the faults. And for the price, you can't really fault it. Um, like I say, there is other ones, but they are more expensive and I'm gonna be reviewing other ones, but they are more expensive than this. But for what this one does, but I will leave the device in the description below and I will pin it to the comments if you guys wanna have a look or you wanna try it out or you're just looking for a cheap diagnostic tool that's gonna to read your diagnostics. This one does all cars. And if you was ever to change from BMW or another manufacturer, you wouldn't have to change your diagnostics tool either, which I think is really good. And the good thing about this device as well is if you was ever to change your manufacturer of your car, say you didn't keep your BM or you changed the manufacturer, you could keep the device unlike other dongles you get you can't um, keep them. For instance, if you buy another manufacturer um, and you get rid of your car that you actually bought the dongle for, like most manufacturers do a dongle which is straight for that car only, you then have to buy another dongle with this. You could just purchase it immediately on your way to go and buy the new vehicle, take the dongle with you and scan the car. So I think this is a great product to actually have if you don't own BMW or you just want looking for something cheap to scan. For instance, if you've got a Ford, Vauxhall or something cheap, 
this is a good device just for you to have to scan your codes and for 40 dollars even if you pay 40 dollars for the manufacturer it's still cheaper than going to a garage for a diagnostics so that's my take on the product guys and i hope you guys have actually enjoyed this video and there you have it like i said it will be linked in the description below and in the comment box so go and check it out so as you've seen there guys i've just reviewed the top don smart diag mini obd device for your car as i said it is a good device and it is very basic just for your normal average diagnosis needs if you are in the market looking for just a cheap diagnostics tool then this is the one probably for you as I said, they do give you five free manufacturers when you purchase the device for 50 quid or $50, whatever it is on the Amazon. Um, when you get it, you can pick five manufacturers. So straight away, as soon as you get it out of the box, you're able to do a diagnosis on your car. There is no waiting, no waiting for it to download, no nothing. As soon as you do it, as soon as you register and activate the serial number, you will be able to start using it and diagnose your car. Now, as I said, it is a good device because if you do change your car, you still can keep the same device and use it for all cars obviously i just want to give a big thanks to daisy and obviously the team at top don for actually sending this out to me again and i hope you guys have actually enjoyed this video like i said it will be linked in the description and will be pinned in the comments below as always so you guys can go and check it out and do as you wish with it if you want to buy it buy it and if you want to look at it and see what it does if it's right for you please go ahead and do it so thank you very much for watching guys it's bmw dr dean here and goodbye